Hello, this is John Carpenter. This is Oki Yoga, and this is class number four. This is a beginner to intermediate class. Um, it's April 14th, 2020, and we're inside today because we had some snow this morning, so it's a little warmer in here, so we'll start. Just come to a nice, comfortable seated position. You wanna drop your shoulder blades, tuck your chin, shut your eyes, and just relax and breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. Taking deep breaths. As you slowly open your eyes, Placing your hands in front of your shins. You want to walk your hands out toward the top of the mat. Fold at the waist. Let the head hang heavy. Feel that stretch in your lower back and hips. Now walking your hands back up to your shins. Back to a seated position. Inhaling and exhaling. Bring your palms together, thumbs in the chest. You're going to interlace your fingers. So we take our hands straight out. Lift up overhead, feel that lift up out of the waist. And as you release your hands, bring them behind your back. Interlace your fingers, straighten your arms. And then return back to a seated position. Now just let your chin drop down to your chest, let your head hang heavy here. And bring your head up to center. Let that right ear drop to the right shoulder. And again, back to center. Now bring your shoulder blades together. Just let the head gently fall back. And back to center. And then left ear drops to left shoulder. And back to center. Placing your left hand on your right knee. Right hand goes behind the right hip. Push the mat, that right hand lift up. Now twist right, gaze over your right shoulder. Exhale back to center. Right hand goes to the left knee, left hand behind the left hip. Push the mat, that left hand lift up, twist left. As you gaze over your left shoulder. And back to center as Raymond the cat drops by. Right hand by right hip, palm down. Left arm over the top of the head. Opening up the left side, gazing through your left armpit, maybe dropping to your right elbow here. Perfectly okay, step on that right hand. And let that left arm pull you up, returning to a seated position. And now left hand by left hip, palm down, right arm over the top of the head. Open up the right side, gazing through the right armpit, maybe dropping to your left elbow here. Let that right arm pull you up, back to a seated position. And then once again, hands in front of your shins, Walk your hands out toward the top of the mat. Forward fold at the waist, letting your head hang heavy. Inhaling, exhaling. And now walking your hands back to your shins, returning to a seated position. And let's go to all fours now. So we wanna find a good base. Hands under your shoulders, fingers spread, knees under your hips, tops of the feet are flat, back is flat. We'll begin by turning that left hand up toward the ceiling. And just slide that left arm under the right, left side of the face to the mat, push into that right hand, turn your chest slightly open to the ceiling here. Breathing. Bring that left arm out back to all fours. As you turn that right hand up, slide that right arm under the left, right side of the face to the mat, push into that left hand, turn your chest slightly open to the ceiling here. Bring that right arm out and back to all fours. And we're gonna warm our spine up here, cat-cow. On the inhale, head comes up, back sways. Exhale, drop your head, let your back round. Inhaling up. Exhale, down and round. Inhale up. 
Exhale, down and round. Inhale up. Exhale, down and round. Inhale up. Exhale, down and round. Inhale. Back to a flat back. Now just let your hips drop back to your heels. Forehead to the mat. Arms down by your side. Turn your palms up. Child's pose here. Three breaths. Inhaling and exhaling deeply. Let it all out on the exhales. Let's go back to all fours. If we're going to take that left hand center mat. Left leg straight out behind. Now right arm, ear level, straight out. As if someone's pulling those right fingers, but pulling back on those left toes, engaging your core. Breathe. Right hand down, left knee down. Come back to all fours, other side. Right hand center mat. Right leg straight out, left arm straight out. As if someone's pulling those left fingers, pulling back on those right toes. Breathing here. Left hand down, right knee down, back to all fours. Okay, we're going to do another set of those. Left hand center mat, left leg straight out, right arm straight out. This time, bend that left knee, 20 pulses with that left foot up toward the ceiling. 20 is too many, you can do 15 or 10. Breathe. When you're finished, straighten that left leg out for three counts. Right hand down, left knee down. Back to all fours. Right hand center mat. Right leg straight out. Left arm straight out. Being that right knee, 20 here. Straighten that right leg out, three counts. Left hand down, right knee down. Back to all fours. Hips back to the heels. Forehead to the mat. Arms down by your side, turn your palms up. Child's pose here, three breaths. Interlacing your fingers at the top of the mat. Make a triangle with your elbows. Curl your toes. Lift your hips up. This is called dolphin toes. Weights on the hands, forearms, elbows. Dropping your ribs toward your thighs. Heels toward the mat. Use your breath. Walk your feet toward the back of the mat. Lowering down to a plank position. Breathe here. Lowering down, flat the top of your feet. Rolling to your left side. Run that left forearm on the top of the mat. Stacking your legs. Putting your weight in that left forearm. Lift your hips here. Right hands on the waist, up in the air. Gaze straight ahead. Up that extended hand. Use your breath. Lowering down gently. Extend that left arm straight out. You're going to lay your head on that left arm like a pillow. Right hand, palm down by your chest. Roll your stomach slightly in toward the mat. Bend your knees here so your feet go behind. Knees are lined up the rest of your body. Feet together, knees together. These are called clamshells. Keeping the feet together. On the inhale, that top knee opens up slowly. Inhaling all the way open. Exhaling down. Inhale up. Exhale down. All right, do eight more of these on your own.
Now rolling back to your stomach, arms down by your side, fingers pointing toward your toes. We're gonna inhale up, lift your chest, lift your legs, locust pose, breathe here. And as you lower down, turn your head to one side, three breaths. We'll do that again. Inhale up. And as you lower down, turn your head the opposite way. Three breaths. Okay. Now we're going to run our right form on the top of the mat. Flip over your opposite side, stack your legs, putting weight in that right forearm, lift your hips here. Left hands in the waist, up in the air, gaze straight ahead, up at your extended hand, use your breath. Lowering down, extend that right arm out, lay your hand on that right arm, body's in a straight line. Left hand, palm down by your chest, fill your stomach slightly in. Bend your knees here, feet together, knees together, clam shells on this side. So on the inhale, top knee opens up slowly. Exhaling down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And eight more of these on your own. And now rolling back to your stomach, elbows under your chest, palms flat. You're going to slide that right knee up even with your waist. We're going to thread that left arm under our right arm. Roll all the way over to your right shoulder blade. As that right knee comes up, left hand on the outside of the right knee, gently pushing that right knee back towards the mat for a spinal twist. Using your breath here, inhale and exhale. in the chest, palms flat, slide that left knee up. So you thread the right arm under the left, rolling over to your left shoulder blade. As so that left knee comes up, right hand on the outside of the left knee, gently pushing that left knee back towards the mat. Breathe here. your stomach and we're going to come to a seated position at the top of the mat All right. so take some breaths here inhale and exhale if you have a block handy you might want to grab it we're going to roll back bring your knees into your chest lay your head back flatten the back of your neck now massage that spine little circles clockwise counterclockwise Back and forth, up and down. Just massaging your spine here. Inhaling, exhaling. 
And as we straighten our legs, soles of the feet are flat, facing the ceiling, come up off your shoulder blades. If you want to use that block, you can place it between your thighs, squeezing the block. Legs are straight, feet flat. Arms down by your side above the floor. You're going to fan the floor up and down as you squeeze that block. Use your breath. Shoulder blades are raised. Breathe. Now, bend those knees, remove the block, keep the shoulder blades up, hands behind the ears, slow controlled bicycles, side to side, try not to pull on the head and neck, make your core do the work, not the head and neck, inhale and exhale, knees to chest, Lay your head back, massage that spine. And then flatten your feet. Back is flat, shoulder blades are flat. Bring that right knee into your chest. Straighten that right leg, point the toes. Leg circles, one direction. Try not to lean to the right or left. Keeping those shoulder blades flat. Inhaling, exhaling each time around. Stop the top, reverse your circle. Stop the top, bring that right knee into your chest, work that right ankle one direction. Reverse, over those toes on the right foot. Place that right foot flat, so bring that left knee into your chest. Straighten the left leg, point the toes. Leg circles one direction to that left leg. And stop the top, reverse. Stop the top, bring that left knee into your chest. Work that left ankle one direction. Reverse. Look at those toes on the left foot. And now both feet are flat, back is flat, shoulder blades are flat. Drop back on your heels, raising your toes, hands behind your ears. 20 little mini crunches. Just raise your shoulder blades up and set them down. Try not to pull in your head and neck. Make your core do the work, not so much the head and neck. Breathe. 20 is too many. Try 15 or 10. And lay your head back. Still on your heels. Dropping your knees together to the right. Hands behind the ears. 20 over that left side here. Breathe. back and back on your heels feet together knees together dropping to the left 20 over that right side here back, back to a flat back, feet are flat, back is flat, bring your arms down by your side, shoulder blades are flat, we're going to push you to our feet, lift your hips, push those feet again, most of the weight's on your shoulder blades here, bring those arms overhead alongside your ears all the way down, and push those feet one more time, lift the hips up toward the ceiling, now exhale, bring those arms slowly back down, Walking your back down one vertebrae at a time. Waist and hips, last thing to touch. Returning to a flat back here. Inhale and exhale. And 
And push those feet again, lift up. Push those feet again, lift up. Now arms overhead. Push those feet again, lift the hips up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring those arms slowly back down. Walk your back down one vertebrae at a time. Waist and hips, last thing to touch. Back to a flat back. Inhale and exhaling. Now push into your feet again. Lift your hips. Arms underneath. Interlace your fingers. Straighten your arms. Walk up on your shoulder blades. Push those feet. Straighten those arms. Inhale and exhale. Releasing the hands. Walking the back down. One vertebrae at a time. Coming back to a flat back. Bring your knees into your chest. Massage that spine. Clockwise, counterclockwise, back and forth, up and down. Now make a T with your arms. Knees together, feet together. Just drop your knees together to the left. Back to the center. Over to the right. center, over to the left, back to the center, now all the way over to your right side, coming to rest here, inhaling and exhaling, place your left hand by your right shoulder, you're going to push the floor, push the mat, push up to the seated position, and we'll take a few breaths here, inhaling and exhaling, So we slowly come up to our feet. All right. so we're gonna to come to what's called mountain pose. So we want our feet anywhere from touching three or four or five inches apart. Feet are flat, arms down by your side, chin is slightly tucked, top of the head toward the ceiling. Just a nice relaxed standing position. Inhaling and exhaling. Relax and breathe. We'll start off just rolling our shoulders forward, big circles, rolling out any tension you may have in your shoulders, back or neck. Then reverse. Shoulders up to yours, drop them down two or three times. It's like you're shrugging your shoulders. Then we'll go side to side here. Inhale and exhale. And then back to mountain pose. We're going to inhale both arms up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive over. Releasing your neck, head going toward the floor, hands are hanging loosely. Shake your head gently, yes, gently, no. Pushing those feet, bring those arms all the way up, palms touching overhead, lifting up out of the waist, elongating your body. Inhale and exhaling, side bend to the left. Back to center. Now over to the right. Be sure to breathe. Back to center. Without losing any height, over to the left. Back to center. Over to the right. Back to center. Now slide back, then take a peek at the ceiling. Back to center, palms together, thumbs to the chest, gazing at the fingertips, arms down by your sides, back to mountain pose. Inhaling, exhaling here, relax and breathe. All right, we're gonna inhale up again, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Hands all the way down the mat, releasing the neck. And then hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers, taking the hands up toward the ceiling, dropping the head, looking between your legs. Inhale and exhale. Releasing your hands. Palms into your calves. Chest close to your thighs. Forehead close to your shins. Top of the head close to the floor. Three breaths. Now 
bend your knees. Push into your feet. Arms come all the way up. Palms touch. Thumbs to the chest. Gazing at your fingertips. Arms down by your sides. Back to mountain pose. All right, taking some breaths here. Inhaling and exhaling. Preparing for sun salutations. Relax and breathe. Begin by inhaling up. Palms touch overhead. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive over, releasing the neck. Inhale, hands to the shins, flatten the back. Exhale, forward fold at the waist, bend the knees, palms to the mat, slip that right foot back, deep lunge. Making sure that left knee is not past that left ankle, head's higher than your hips. Flatten your hands, left foot back, plank. You can hold plank here, you can do some yoga push ups. Four or five. Back the plank. Lowering down, flatten the top of your feet. You can come to Sphinx or Cobra or Up Dog. And then curl your toes, hips float up, downward facing dog. Palms are flat, fingers spread, heels dropping toward the mat, ribs toward your thighs, neck is relaxed. Inhaling, exhaling. You can bicycle your heels here, warming up your calves, your Achilles. Inhaling and exhaling. You're going to raise that right leg straight up. Bend that knee. Right heel over the left hip. Place that foot down. Reset. Bring that left leg up. Bend the left knee. Left heel over the right hip. Back to downward dog. Next inhale. Right foot steps up to a lunge. Big step up. Pushing those feet, square your body to the front. Straighten out your torso. Dipping your hips slightly, flatten that front thigh. Breathing here. Palms together, thumbs in the chest. Take those arms overhead, lifting up out of the waist. Palms face each other, fingertips lifting up toward the ceiling. Inhaling and exhaling. Standing crescent lunge. As you push your feet, come back to that lunge position. Step that left foot to the right. Drop your hips, arms up for chair pose. Breathing here. Palms together, thumbs to the chest. Left upper arm, left tricep across, right thigh. You can rest that tricep on that right thigh or drop that left hand on the mat, right hand to the ceiling, opening up. Back to heart center. Right upper arm across, left thigh as we twist left. Hands together here, right hand on the mat, left hand to the ceiling, opening up. Back to heart center. Palms into your calves, drop your head, lift your hips, straighten your legs. Three breaths here. Bend your knees, push into your feet, arms come all the way up. Palms touch overhead, thumbs to your chest, gazing at your fingertips. Arms down by your sides, back to mountain pose. And then taking some breaths here in Mountain Pose. Inhale and exhale. So we continue on. Inhaling up. Palms touch overhead. Exhale. Forward fold. Swan dive over. Hands to the mat. Releasing the neck. Exhaling the way down. Inhale. Hands to the shins. Flatten the back. Exhale. Forward fold. Bend the knees. Palms to the mat. Now, left foot steps back, deep lunge. Breathe here. Flattening your hands, right foot back, plank. Holding plank or five push-ups here. Holding plank. Lowering down, flatten the top of your feet. Sphinx, cobra, or upper dog. Drop your shoulder blades, relax your face. Curling your toes, 
downward dog here, inhaling, exhaling. Raising that left leg, bend the knee, left heel over the right hip. Back to downward dog, bring that right leg up, bend the knee, right heel over the left hip. Back to downward dog. Next inhale, left foot steps up to a lunge. Pushing those feet. Square your body to the front. Straighten down your torso. Dipping your hips slightly flat in that front thigh. When your base is set, palms together, thumbs in the chest. Take those arms overhead, lifting up out of the waist. Inhale and exhale. Pushing those feet, coming back to a lunge. Right foot steps to left, drop your hips to chair pose. Breathe here. Palms together, thumbs in the chest. Right upper arm across, left thigh as we twist left here. Hands together, right hand on the mat, left hand on the ceiling, opening up. Back to heart center. Left upper arm across, right thigh as we twist right here. Hands together, left hand on the mat, right hand on the ceiling, opening up. Back to heart center, palms into your calves, drop your head, straighten your legs, lift your hips, three breaths. Bend your knees, push into your feet, arms come all the way up, palms touch, thumbs to the chest, gazing at the fingertips, arms down by your sides, back to mountain pose and then taking some breaths here inhaling and exhaling relax and breathe we're going to add on to our sun salutations now as we inhale up palms touch overhead exhale forward fold swan dive over hands to the mat release the neck Inhale, hands to the shins, flatten the back. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, palms to the mat, step that right foot back, turn that right foot flat. Just put weight in that left foot. Square your body to the front. Feel all four corners of each foot, push into the mat. Left knee tracking the left, second toe of that left foot. Right leg is straight, right foot's flat. When your base is set, palms together, thumbs in the chest. Taking those arms overhead, feel that lift up out of the way. Same time, feel the feet push back into the mat. Inhaling, exhaling, warrior one here. Breathe. Hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, straighten the arms, you can stay here. Putting weight in that left foot, drop that left shoulder inside that left knee. Head drops toward the mat, hands up toward the ceiling, breathe here. As you put weight in that left foot, let those hands pull you up. Releasing back to warrior one here. We'll go to warrior two now. Palms together, thumbs in the chest. Torso to your right. Arms out front and back. Turn your gaze over that left middle finger. Left knee tracking the left, second toe of that left foot. Right leg is straight, right foot's flat. Inhaling, exhaling. Right hand, right hip, turn that left palm up, come over the top of that left arm, feeling that stretch down your left side, inhale and exhale. Back to warrior two. Left forearm, left thigh. We'll take that left hand all the way down inside that left foot, down to the mat. Right hands on the waist, up in the air, over your ear. Open your chest slightly to the ceiling here. Inhaling, exhaling. Bring that right arm up. Pull back to warrior two. Transition to triangle pose. You're gonna straighten that left leg. Shift that right hip back. Reach over the top of the mat, that left hand. Back to the left hand into the big toe side of the left leg. Right hands on the waist, up in the air. Gazing downward to your right. Drop the extended hand. Keep that chest open, shoulder back. 
Breathe here, triangle pose. Bend that front knee, hands to the mat, turn that right foot straight, going to half moon pose, pushing off that right foot. Both hands are down, gazing down, right hand to the hip or up in the air, gazing downward off to the right. Right hand down, straight your body, left hand to the hip, up in the air as you gaze to the left, twisting half moon, breathing here. Bring that left hand down, drop that right foot all the way back to a lunge. Flatten your hands, left foot back plank, holding here or doing five push ups. Lowering down, flatten the top of your feet. Sphinx Cobra, Upper Dog. Drop your shoulder blades, inhale and exhale. Curling your toes, Downward Dog. We're gonna do seven breaths here. Stretch this out. Next inhale, right foot steps up to a lunge. Turn that left foot flat. Square your body to the front. Right knee tracking on that second toe, that right foot. Left leg is straight, left foot's flat. Feel all four corners of each foot. Push to the mat. Inhale and exhaling. Palms together, thumbs in the chest. Take those arms overhead, lifting up out of the waist. Inhale and exhale. Hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers, straighten the arms. As you put weight in that right foot, drop that right shoulder inside that right knee. Head drops toward the mat, hands up toward the ceiling. Use your breath. Pushing that right foot, let those hands pull you up. Release back to where you're going here. Inhale and exhale. We go to warrior two now. Palms together, thumbs in the chest, torso to your left, arms out front and back, gaze over that right middle finger, right knee track over that second toe, that right foot. Warrior two here. Inhale and exhale. Left hand, left hip. Turn that right palm up over the top. Feel that stretch down your right side. And back to warrior two. And then right form the right thigh, or take that right hand all the way down to the mat inside that right foot. Left hand on the waist, up in the air, over your ear. Open your chest slightly to the ceiling here. Inhale and exhale. Bring that left arm up. Back to warrior two. Transition your triangle pose. You're going to straighten that right leg. Shift that left hip back. Reach over the top of the mat, that right hand. Back of the right hand into the big toe side of the right leg. Left hands on the waist, up in the air, gazing downward to your left, up at your extended left hand. Keep that left shoulder back, chest open here. Inhaling, exhaling. Take that left arm, pull up. As you turn that right foot in, hands on the hips. Inhale and exhale. And as you're pushing your feet, make a forward fold at the waist. Right hand, palm down on the mat. Let that left hand twist to the left. Twisting left, follow that left hand through gaze. Bring that left hand down, flatten it. Right hand to the right as you twist right. Gaze at that right hand. And bring that right hand down. Now heel toe out two steps, widening your stance. Palms are flat under your shoulders. Let your head hang heavy here. Relax and breathe, taking deep breaths. And walking your hands over that right foot or ankle, maybe your right leg. Hands back to center, over to that left foot or ankle, maybe your left leg. Breathing here.
Hands back to center. Right, we're going to heel toe in those two steps we took earlier. And just put weight into your feet and the hands back up. Hands to the hips. You know, next exhaling. Turn those left toes, left corner of the mat, right toes to the right corner. Elbows up like a goal pose. Palms facing outward, with a straight back. Drop your hips. Toes can be flat or you can raise your toes. Goddess warrior pose. Even kind of neck selling. Relax. Breathe in here. You bring those elbows down. Turn that left foot in. Right foot back to the top of the mat. Hands to the mat. Turn that left foot straight back to a lunge. You're going to push off that left foot. Both hands are down here for half moon pose. Left hand to the hip, up in the air as you open up to the left. Bring that left hand down, straighten your body. Right hand to the hip, up in the air as you open up to the right. Bring that right hand down, drop that left foot all the way back to a lunge. Gently dropping that left knee, top that left foot flat. See if you can get your forearms down inside that right foot. Maybe one arm down, the other one around that right ankle. Dropping that right, dropping your head down by that right heel. Breathing here. And release. Now, dropping back on that right heel, straighten that right leg, using your breath. Putting away on that right foot, curling those left toes. Back to a lunge. Flatten your hands, right foot back, plank, or up. Downward dog, use your breath here. Five breaths. Now left foot steps up to a lunge, big step up. Bring that right knee down, top that right foot flat. See so you can get your forearms down inside that left foot. Maybe one arm down, left arm around that left ankle, dropping your head down by that left heel. Use your breath. And release very gently, protecting that left knee, straighten that left leg, dropping back on that left heel, feeling that stretch here. Inhale and exhale. Putting weight on that left foot as you curl those right toes back to a lunge. Flatten your hands, left foot back, downward dog. Use your breath here. Inhale and exhale. Five breaths. Bring that right leg up. Right knee to chest and hold. Back up. Right knee to right elbow and hold. Back up, right knee to left elbow, back up, right knee to chest, set that right knee behind that right wrist, flexing that right foot, straighten that left leg, pigeon pose. If no knee pain, you want to go deeper, you can drop to your elbows, flatten your hands, lay, lay your forehead on top of your hands, relax and breathe, bring this in your right hip, taking deep breaths. Walk our hands up. Now, if you want to go to Proud Pigeon here, you can place your right hand here. Bend that left knee. Reach back, grab that left foot or ankle. Or you can just stay in Pigeon here. All right, then we're going to curl those left toes. Bring that right leg up in the air. Wiggle that right knee around. And back to Downward Dog. Bring that left leg up. Left knee to chest and hold. Back up. Left knee to left elbow, back up. Left knee crosses to right elbow, back up. Left knee to chest, set that left knee behind that left wrist. Flex that left foot, straighten that right leg. Pigeon pose on this side here. No knee pain, you wanna go deeper, you can drop to your elbows. Flatten your hands, lay your forehead on top of your hands. Breathe here, feeling this in your left hip. Relax and breathe.
and then walking your hands up here. Proud pigeon, left hand flat, bend that right knee, reach back. If you wanna grab that right foot or ankle, proud pigeon, or we can just stay here. Inhaling, exhaling. Curling those right toes, bring that left leg up, wiggle that left knee around. Back to downward dog. You drop to your knees, dropping your hips back to your heels, forehead to the mat, arms down by your side, turn your palms up, child's pose here, three breaths. We'll come to a seated position here. So you straighten your legs out, shake them out, relax and breathe. Now, inhale up, forward fold at the waist, maybe touching your toes, maybe your shins, maybe your knees. Be gentle with that lower back. Inhaling, exhaling. And now, soles the feet together, cobbler's pose. Relax and breathe. And straighten those legs out, shake them out. And we're going to roll back here. Bring your knees into your chest. Lay your head back. Massage that spine with circles. Clockwise, counterclockwise, back and forth, up and down. Place that left foot flat on the left edge of the mat. Right foot flat on the right edge of the mat. Back is flat, shoulder blades are flat. Just let your knees, windshield wiper to the left. And back to the center. Knees to the right, and back to center, to the left. So you take that left heel on top of your right thigh, extend that right arm toward the top of the mat, left thumb and forefinger around that right wrist, gently pull that right arm toward the top of the mat, breathe here. And release as you bring those legs back up. Let them drop over to the right. Right heel on top of the left thigh. Staying that left arm toward the top of the mat. Pulling that left arm. Feel that stretch down your left side. Inhale and exhale. And release. Bring those knees back up. Extend that left leg all the way to the end of the mat. Extend the right leg beside it. Feet together, legs together. Arms down by your sides. Let your shoulders open up toward the ceiling. And as you do, turn your palms open to the ceiling. And as you shut your eyes, let your feet fall open as we go to Savasana, relaxation pose. And just relax and breathe here, taking deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. With your eyes closed, slowly start wiggling your fingers and toes as you increase your breathing. We're going to roll over to our right side, take some breaths. Placing your left hand by your right shoulder, you're going to push the floor, push the mat, push up to a seated position. Taking some breaths here, inhaling and exhaling. As you bring your palms together, thumbs to the chest, slowly open your eyes, bowing softly. Namaste.